Hello, I am David W. Parker. This is Programming Today I Learned Rail Series. Today we're going to be going ahead and generating a sitemap with our Rails API app. And we can go ahead and push that out and allow our other applications to use it so it's pre-generated. So let's go ahead and just take a look at our final product here. We have our localhost 3000 here with a sitemap. And everything looks good. So we're going to use this gem. It's called Sitemap Generator. And it's pretty dang simple to use. We're going to go ahead and put it into our gem file. Then we're going to go ahead and bundle install. Run this command here, rake sitemap install. And that's going to create a new file for you called under config called sitemap.rb. It's going to provide to you a default host. I think it's example.com and then a stubbed out little section here. So in our instance here, what we want to do is we want to have uh, a couple of pages. And this should be up here. Because if we look here, we're going to have a bunch of abouts every other page. So let's just go ahead and rerun the sitemap command, which is refresh no ping. That update. Fresh, boom, only one about. OK, perfect. So what did I do here? I installed this. I created a sitemap config, set it to localhost for my default host. You could probably go ahead and set that to an environment variable or to whatever domain is yours. Then you have this command here, add. So this is going to add some given URL to your sitemap. And you can give it a change frequency, a loss modified, as well as a priority. So that's all I'm doing here. It's also going to do one for your regular URL here. And I believe the updated at is going to, or last modified is going to be when this was generated. Next up, I have my posts and I'm going to go use dot published, which is a new scope I'll show in a moment with the newest first, each with index. And I could just do each here because I don't really use the index. Let's do that. And then I'm going to go ahead and add forward slash posts and then the slug. So if I was to go to this one here, I believe I have my front end running. There it is. This is test 19. And I'm saying these change frequently by a week. Now you can go ahead and have the change frequency as well, you know, daily, depending on how much traffic you're getting. And then the last modified, you can do something instead of just using published at, you may want to go ahead and grab whenever the most recent comment was created or updated. But this is just a very, very simple example to show you how to create a sitemap. And by default, this will go ahead and be generated inside your public folder. And you can change all of that. And what we will do in a future episode is we're going to set up our credentials and we'll go ahead and set it up to upload to Amazon S3. Because if you're on an ephemeral type of system such as Heroku and you generate something and it's in public and Heroku needs to rebuild your environment for whatever reason, that sitemap will get deleted along with it. It won't be uh, persisted. Um, so just something to be aware of. So that's why you can use external sources such as S3 provided by Amazon. Now I added an extra option in here, .compress to false. If you do that, then you'll just get an XML file back like this. Otherwise, you will get a gzipped uh, version. And the reason I'm using the XML version is because on my front end, it's going to consume this. And uh, so this will be available through localhost 5000 sitemap. So I want it to just be the plain source here, so that way it's accessible there. Now let's go ahead and take a look at this new concern I added. So I like to have basically all of my concerns within five different types. One is the associations, hooks, logic, and validations. And you've seen all of those before. And then I also like to put my scopes in uh, its own. So I have one called published. And published basically means that there is a published at date present. I'm also going to throw that in to my API and our index and say post published if Rams published is present. So just a couple, you know, very simple logic 
And these are really the only five um, main concerns that I keep for most of my models, just to keep things a little bit organized. So that's really it. Super simple to do. And now we have a sitemap and we can continue on with our front end. See you guys next time. Like and subscribe. If you really like the content, uh, support me on Patreon or buy me a coffee. You can get early access there to my videos. And I will see you guys next time. Thanks.